Welcome to my page, my website, jaysaudiolab.com. This is my enthusiast website that will bring you closer to me and my journey with some of today's best audio components. Hundreds of pictures of all the systems that I have owned. Under the membership plans, there will be three plans to choose from. These memberships will have raw, uncut video with my unfiltered opinion on just about everything that enters my room. You will see many behind the scenes videos, plus updated lists of amplifier rankings, speaker rankings, pre-amplifier rankings, and much, much more. In short, jaysaudiolab.com will give you an intimate look at what goes down in my lab that you cannot get anywhere else. Join the fun and see you there. Uh, wrap it up. We just finished a, what, two hour listening yes, session? Yes, at least two hours, yeah, two and a half hours. hours. Yeah, yeah. And I have to be honest, we had techni technical difficulties. My... We recorded a lot of content of the Essence and the and the Luxman, mm -hmm. and um, you know the video, the footage came out messed up. The audio was just completely distorted. Yeah. I still don't know what happened. So what I ended up doing was because the amp is not mine, and he's about an hour, an hour and a half away from me. Yeah, nice. um, what I did is I had the chance to go back and record the amplifier again for th with three songs. But instead songs. of doing the typical three minutes, I did a minute and a half to accelerate uh, things. So. Um, you should be able to see three songs of a minute and a half of each amplifier using each amplifier um, And both remember will be connected to the strum tank. Okay strum tank stock power cords using uh, the MSB select 2 as a preamplifier. Correct. Yeah, you bypass your mm -hmm. Okay, so we are here And by the way, you guys are not going to know which is which. We know which one's which. <laughs> you guys are going to have to listen when the video drops and vote. So you're going to hear from inside the room our take before you guys give us your take. Because last time you guys gave us your take and then I had to come and be in front and center and give you my opinion from inside the room. So we're going to do it different now. We're going to give you our take from inside the room. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with the the, su the subject here that brought <laughs> basically the essence, the person that is really culpable for what just happened. Perfect. Go ahead and tell us first what you heard, Carlos, like the beginning. When you heard the Luxman, what did you hear about the Luxman? Let's go over the attributes of each amplifier first. Can we say that we used... Uh, yeah, we, we, you can say strum, strum tank and yeah, yeah, yeah. The strum tank is part of it. Yeah, the strum tank. And no strum tank too. With str no, no, just the strum tank. We the video will just have the strum tank. Yeah. Well, with the Luxman, I can hear it's uh, it's very mellow. Uh, it's very musical. I like the presentation. And when we jump to the Griffin, is completely. I agree. It completely different. I mean, the presentation change. What do you say about uh, a good the percent? the Luxman was very good, mm -hmm. um, but in comparison, the um, the gr gr Griffin was a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. It was. I was telling you earlier. I felt the sound was more organized. Uh, images were fixed in space more precisely. I think it was also bigger sounding, to be honest with you. Everything kind of bigger, clearer, but in a very musical way. Um, I really was not expecting that <laughs> big of a difference, to be honest with you, oh, wow. because I've always heard great things about Luxman. I still feel it's a very high quality product, but um, it really kind of made it sound um, a bit average, <laughs> which wow. is really strange. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, remember, the Luxman won the last shootout, according to the crowd. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, right. So yeah. this is clearly two or three levels beyond that. Then, because to I me, it was be, oh, okay. One to ten, right? The Luxman, in my view today, was maybe like a seven, and right. the other guy was nine and a half. It was okay. a big of a jump to me, anyway. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. remember Jay that I came about what two weeks ago and help you with some of the amps over here and we play with the Luxman. And at that moment, 
I told you, oh my God, it, the, the, the sound, the, it's beautiful. musical, very musical, very, very mellow, very, I don't engaging. know, right? Engaging. Yeah. But now that we have both over here, we have the Griffin and the Luxman, I mean, the Griffin blows it out of the water. Yeah. Really? Yeah. My I taste. Think so, yeah. My taste. I mean, so you're not being biased because you own the essence. No, 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 no. It was I mean, immediate. It was immediate, completely different sound. I mean, you can hear it here. Um, it, it makes it sound very colored. This guy sounds so it is, colored. It is. It is. It the is. Luxman is, is the, the right. Luxman is a is, and I've been vocal about this. Yeah. It's uh, it's got this sweet presentation. It's got its own DNA. It's got its own flavor. Um, and 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 yes, I agree. It's same thing with the Constellation. It's oh, very yeah. much like awesome. that. It's tuned okay. to sound a certain way. So is Don Diagostino. Okay. They have sound pretty, but okay. they're color to sound a certain way. Right. Yeah. They're not neutral per se. Dead center. No. So I agree. I agree with that. So and there might be people that like Luxman and and hate Griffin, and same way around. I mean, they love Griffin and they hate Luxman. I mean, it's a different presentation of the music, but you can feel. Actually, you can feel. Yeah. When the, those notes hit you, you can feel it. That the Griffin has more control, more, more control, more grip, yeah. more. Uh, the speed is better. Okay, I, I can understand the speed. The speed is something that um, I don't think I have found with power amplifiers that are on the sweeter side of the spectrum. Mm. Usually amplifiers that have this beautiful embellished presentation tend to sound a little slower. Mm. That's typically the case. Also, I wanted to say that I had the Diablo 300. Yeah, I know. Remember, I remember you did. Yeah. And while I had the Diablo 300, um, the sound, it's... For me, it's a little darker than mm -hmm. the essence. Yes, the essence is a little the cooler. Essence a little yeah. cooler. Yeah, cooler, not bright, but cooler. It's a good word to, to yeah, say. Yeah, cooler, cooler. Yeah, I agree with that. It's it's no yeah. different. Like the yeah. essence, the integrated, the Griffin integrated are nothing like their amplifiers. Nothing completely. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. Yeah. And people that want to jump from Diablo three hundred to the essence, do it. Because it's a good, it's a, it's a good, it's a good investment, yeah. and and it's a good for you. You did it. You, right. You've done. Yeah, you've done it. You had. You and had the one. You listen to the the, the three hundred at home. I had listened to your yeah. yeah this and is and massive not, superior. And I think. Yeah, yeah, superior. I agree. Yeah. It's worth yeah. the money. I mean, the, the the return, it's it's a lot. So that goes back to that conversation of the differences between separates and and, and, and integrated, mm -hmm. right? It's not the same. It's very rare that you're going to find an integrated that sounds just as good as their separate siblings. Possibly. You know that already yeah. firsthand. Yep. Now, do you feel that... I know the Luxman is right now $20,000, and I think the Griffin Essence is twenty four for the stereo, around there. $23,000, so Almost 23 I think it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It hasn't changed the, the price. It hasn't, it hasn't changed. So... If you want my articulation on what went down here, I agree. The Luxman has this embellished beautification to the presentation. It's very, um, it's colored, mm -hmm. to your point. It's very pretty sounding. Um, and I think that the Luxman also, its intent isn't to wow you with explosiveness or dynamics or holy shit factor. That's not the intention of the Luxman. I think the Luxman is more about let's dance together let's just relax let's just you know and that's why it has that sound mm -hmm. to kind of make you feel like it turns off your analytical mm -hmm. switch right it does because you know that it's not doing everything perfectly right it's rich sounding it's very rich sounding mm -hmm. but it, but you know that it isn't going to be the king when it comes to bass control it's never going to be mm -hmm. the king when it comes to dynamics and huge sound stage it's not going to you already know going into it with the look yeah. but it is about taking you out and, and wanting you to go on the dance floor and dance with it and just it romances you that's mm -hmm. the word yeah, it's that's the word yeah. and romance is not necessarily something that a lot of folks want when it yeah. comes to music yeah now I can understand you have been a tube lover in the past yeah and right? I still like and tubes. you like tubes and you know tubes are not known for explosiveness and dynamics yeah. and all of that right? my, they, my phono preamp it, it's a tube preamp right it's, and it's beautiful yeah. And I think the combination between tubes and solid state, it's it's awesome. Yeah. So you get a little bit of both worlds. Yes, I right? agree. So for me, I felt at times that 
when I listened to the Luxman, it, it probably had this feeling of engagement. And the Griffin is more about, let me just give you what is in here. Griffin is more about, it's kind of like a Mercedes AMG where the tires are low profile because that's how they come from the factory and you're going to feel the road. You're going to feel the road and your ass is going to be on fire because it is a sports performance oriented car, right? And the Luxman is more like the regular Mercedes, you know, S550, S class. It's about just riding smooth and calm mm -hmm. and you don't want to hear the road. And you don't want to hear people honking, out honk, you're right, you don't want any horn, you don't want to hear nothing. And I think that the Griffin in, in general and mind you, I was the one who pointed you to Griffin. So I'm guilty of the fact that you're with the Essence because that's the one who I took you to yeah, the Griffin Essence. That's right. Right. And I have said it. I've had the Griffin Essence as the best amplifier under 30K. I've been very vocal about that. Today, I think that my takeaway is probably, yes, that I align with everything they have said. I align with the fact that the amplifier, the, the Essence was exposed, the Essence exposed what the Luxman is trying to do. But the Luxman is not hiding away from what it's doing. It's not trying to compete with the Essence. You get me? It's, it's, it doesn't compete with the Essence. They're, yeah. they're vehicles, but one is a bike and the other one is a car. Does that make sense? They're, they're, they're both going to take you somewhere. But they're going about its business so different. So I think it's, number one, about it's about what kind of flavor you're looking for. Sure. That's right. So personality, number one. What's your personality like? I don't think anybody can go wrong with either one. But if you're going with the facts and you want a blank sheet of paper with a pencil so you can draw, I think the Essence is clearly the winner in that regard. Because with the Luxman, the, that paper already comes with a carbon sheet behind, car carbon sheet paper that you just kind of like go over it, over the lines, and you already have a sense of direction what you have to do and how to draw on top of the paper. And the Essence is more like, I am taking you where it is with what you're telling me and what you're giving me. I still believe... At the end of the day, that the Essence is still the best power amplifier under thirty grand, in my opinion. Um, so I will give the edge, of course, to uh, to the Griffin Essence. I mean, it, it, there's no there's no denying things. The Class A sound stood out to me. The liquidity stood out to me, and it's just it's a different musical experience with pure Class A that typically regular Class A B fails to give you. Okay, and that is the topology of the, the, the Class A design. It's just, it, it's meant to make the sound liquid and pour out of the speakers, right? While still maintaining control and speed. That's why Class A is so good at what it does. The Luxman does, the, it does have Class A, like the first 15 watts are pure Class A. But with the S7s, I don't think I was in Class A with the Luxman, right? Because the S7 is a very difficult speaker, which begs the question, how would this be if I had a more, like, uh, just an easier speaker to drive? That's fine. It, it could be, be uh, it could be, who knows, like, what would happen at that moment? Because I wonder if the Luxman was, to a certain extent, maybe, and we were not listening very loud. No. no. By the way, we were listening at approximately 77 decibels, which is actually lower than usual for me, um, just to give both amplifiers a fair, you know, a shot at this. Um, but it goes back to show you that watts don't mean don't not mean a damn thing. You got an amplifier here that puts out 40, 45 watts of Class A against one that's 150 watts of Class A B, and clearly the 45 watts of Class A just even the Diablo, even the Diablo, the Diablo is 300, 300 watts A B. Yeah, which gives you what the first 10 on something Class like A, that. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, and, and it's just a, a perfect example of how things, you know, how Griffin here. This particular exercise outclassed the Luxman M10X. So, you got what you needed. Now you know my take mm. as far as you know what amplifier remains the king. And right now, to me, it is still the Griffin Essence. I knew it the moment I heard it. I knew it when I got it here uh, with the rest of the Griffin amplifiers. And that's why I, write, I rated it the number two amplifier, best amplifier within the Griffin lineup, right after the Mephisto. If you guys remember my ranking of the Griffin amplifiers, I had the Mephisto as number one, and then I had the Essence as number two. And then after that, I believe I had the Coliseum, and I had dead last the Antillion Evil, because the Antillion Evil is warmer. It's meant to be a little more dark sounding. But for me, is once you get used to clarity, sheer clarity and spaciousness, it is very hard to go back to the other side of the presentation where things are a little more, just a darker overall. And that's what I think that Antillion Evo does. 
and they do this on purpose. They want the amplifier to sound this way. Griffin is vocal about this. Okay, but to me, once you live with a very clear sounding amplifier, mm -hmm. it's hard to go back to yeah. something else. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's very difficult. It's like everything else. You realize that wow, like it, uh, your your hearing gets spoiled by the sh by the <laughs> sheer. It's like a trans. It's like That's a window, true. clear window that you just wipe down with Windex. And you want to keep looking through that window. You don't want to see anything with a tinted window anymore. And that's what some amplifiers and other components do. So there you have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Now I'm going to listen to some reel to reel here and maybe nice. post a video or two wow. and give you my right. take at some point. So reel to reel is coming. <laughs> might be coming. So stay tuned for more, guys. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe. Do not forget to hit that like button. And I have a lot more content. Do not forget to visit my website, Jay's audiolab.com where there is a lot of behind the scenes content you cannot miss this i have over five hours worth of video exclusive video that you're not going to get on my youtube channel this is for my members only on my website jaysaudiolab.com peace